Now the episode of Ghetto Garage, Wildcard Customs, Paint Pimp, Wild Eyed Northern Boy, all of the above. Um, before I get going on too far, oh, here we are. I ain't got this all situated too well, I guess. Come on. Um, yeah. You guys want to check out some uh, cool sites? You got to check these out, man. I've been checking them out lately. Dave's, D-A-V-E-S, Customs with a K-U-S-T-O-M-S. It's a nice site. Uh, he's got seven videos. He does some killer work, body work. And then you got another site, uh, J O H N S O N T 963. So that would be Johnson T 963. Uh, he tore a, a late model truck apart and man, he put a lot of work into it. He does nice work too. He's got both these guys got really big garages. Um, Dave's Customs got 30 by 56, and I don't know how big the. Johnson T963 is how big his garage is. Real nice garages. Real nice. Compared to get a garage. But anyway. Um this is what I've been doing. I laid the floor down. There's still some wrinkles in it. Um I went to go look for some glue or stuff and everything it says that you want the temperature to be at least 50 um 50 degrees. Well it ain't 50 degrees here. Um because I notice when the sun comes out, the floor will start getting getting bumps in it. So it will heat up to a certain extent. But this stuff is pretty, um, I don't know, it's pretty hardcore. It's not like carpet where you can just cut it and, and stretch it. No, either you're on or you're not on. It's it's not the easiest stuff to be, be cutting either. And so I got to wait until spring, which I hate that. To uh, really glue it down. That was an all day event yesterday. And then my ass, um, it's waterproofed. You can see where I sanded the outer coating off because it had something like a uh, brown wood or something on it. And when I was cutting with a jigsaw, it would chip off and it wasn't very durable. So I sanded it down. That was an all day event too. Everything's an all day event, man. Um, these. That's that diamond plate that I got because that stuff, I put it on my doors. I'm going to put it on them doors because that stuff isn't really, um, really isn't that thick. See, and it's hollow in the back. It's really thin. And you can tell, uh, you could tell that it used to go on like a trailer or something. Like I can find the shit. Whatever, man. It had some white junk on it, you know, like uh, caulking, but it wasn't caulking, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to put it down on my ledge here, too. That's only one piece. And then I got to finagle around the window because I get tired of painting that stuff. You know, I just get tired of painting it. You know, and I get carried away. So you got the bifold doors there. They go right here. Well, you know, I'm going to put diamond plate over that, too. Um, I'm tired. It's 6.30. Come on, man. It's 6.33. Living on borrowed time. Running out of time like always. Um, in Ghetto Garage, on that mop board down the bottom, that side I took the mop board off because it, the wall is so crooked it's unbelievable. That's why we call it Ghetto Garage. And then I hit a little, see like right here? You got... Come on, focus. You see you got that little trim? Well, yeah, well, when you pull the trim off, you got voila, you got like surprises. Well, that's because I wet down my floor, and then this is the lowest part of the garage, and water sets right there. And of course, because this ain't, this is setting right on the foundation, this wall, it doesn't even have a block high because this garage was made in 1952. Not that I'm complaining, you know, I'm just stating that. You know, I wish I had something better, but, you know, if I want something better, I guess I'll go drop the coin, and, you know, I guess I'm going to have to to set my spray booth up. Um, I don't like doing this at all, but 
You got to do what you got to do. I don't like my bike setting out here on snow. I don't like it, you know. It's kind of risque um, laying on snow. But when I was bending those big panels, I couldn't. I usually had the press brake in there. It's an eight foot. I usually have it inside the garage. Then I hold on to the Harley, you know, and I didn't. Yeah, I don't know, man. But let's see if I can get around. I can't get around. Maybe I can. Lo and behold, I started it today. I let it idle. I, I thought there was an issue before, but now I know there's a fucking issue. Right down here, right where my finger is. Come on, focus out. That's, uh, there were brand new jug gases in this motherfucker. And I paid for it to get done. So, Tommy Shoe's got to turn into a fucking mechanic man now. I mean, because I hear, can hear a little, it runs and everything, but it goes, you can hear a little pit, pit, pit. You know, um, you know, I don't need to be, me and Mama be going down the goddamn road and, um, you know, I fucking blow a gas here because we wanted to go up north of the UP on this bike because I don't get much use out of it. I've owned it for two years and I got 1,200 miles on it. Seeing there's a touring pack that goes on it. I know I'm getting sidetracked. I always get sidetracked. There's a touring pack that never gets used. It's I've only put it on there like twice. That's so we could put uh that's so we can put bags and stuff on it, you know, and go me and Mama spend time together. Yeah, really? Really go spend time together? Well that's my own problem anyway. Um yeah, and the sun's going down, and it's windy like always. Everything needs maintenance, but you know, when you have too many toys, not that I have too many toys, but just more toys or whatever you have, more vehicles. Because back in the day, I used to buy a lot of vehicles. Why? I don't know, because I could. It's ridiculous. It's like I bought this diamond plate, which is a good thing for $10 a sheet, but you know, um, you know, it's going to be nice when it gets done. And you know why I'm doing this, I guess, like this? That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work measuring this stuff out. I believe that first lip is, um, that first lip, I don't know what the measurement is there. And I think it's seven and a quarter. Then it goes up two and a half. And then it bends back around to make a double lip. And the reason I got that, even though that lip is bigger than that, the reason I did that is because these sheets already got a lip on it no, see you can see that white stuff is like ah, come on man the caulking stuff or you know what it is so I I could just tell that it used to be on like some trailer or something you know an enclosed trailer and I don't know maybe maybe it got crashed and they somebody pulled all the diamond plate off I don't know um I don't know why am I irritable? Because this stuff takes too long, man. And I'm an old man. I'm getting tired. And I already said all this stuff, and I don't mean to complain. And I guess, you know, I'm going to be honest here. You know what? I'm going to be honest. Why well, just sit here and bullshit? You know why I'm bitter? Because, you know, I don't have no more land. Because I'd love to build a bigger garage. And I guess, um, Johnson T963 and... Dave's Customs, I guess I'm jealous, kind of, um, they have a big, you know, they have a big work spot, you know, and having this, having this ghetto fabulous glitter diamond plate on the whatever, diamond plate on the floor, and, you know, whatever, you know, that's nice, really, yeah, okay, I try to be appreciative of what I have, but when I, you know, because I can't build, I can build, but then I have a building, or I rent a building that's not even on my property. And you know, then you have to have that locked down, and anyway. I'm gonna quit complaining. Could be a lot worse. Um, the reason I got the idea of putting a diamond plate there is because I noticed when I was, I had the diamond plate laying up here, and the sun was coming in, it really reflected light up on the ceiling. So I thought, 
you know if I put the diamond plate there which will make it durable um, that it reflect light too and by the time I hacked hacked it I thought I could get two of those doors I thought I could get two doors out of one sheet but it really couldn't I could only get one door out of one sheet because that's a full sheet and then this wasn't long enough it's like two inches short so then I started looking at this edge where are you going to use that long piece you know and then I thought well I'll just put it there and then all these extra little black pieces right here I wasn't thinking I'm going to do like you know like right here I'm going to do like a little mob board thing and what kind of blows is that I can't glue that down right now I'm gonna because the floor ain't glued down because I can tell it's moving here's another thing that makes me mad you would think this this piece from dead center where that crack is from dead center over to the wall is eight foot six inches that's a factory cut where the hell we at that's a factory cut right there okay so then this piece is a factory cut too okay you know what their tolerance is so far off yeah that's not much of a gap and it's not the way I got it laid cause right here at this end it would touch this right here at this end down here where it's piece of the other it would touch and there was at least right here there was at least two eighths gap quarter inch so what I had to do in which I don't look at that that's still bad enough come on now so what I had to do and I don't like doing it is I had to do this I had to take this up and I had to cut this right here to get this to fit better you know I knew the garage walls weren't going to be Johnny on the money but I would think a factory cut would be Johnny on the money because they got all the high tech tools machines and everything and this ain't nothing but ghetto garage and I had to go splice and dice it to make that line get better I know I'm in a crappy mood sorry what am I going to say um, I want to give uh, credit to like um, Dave's Customs with a K and then you got HRP or HPR they, and their intro um, they got really nice intros man like Dave's got some multicolor letters and stuff and he's got a logo of diamond plate and some flames and tribal that's pretty cool then you got HRP or, or HPR he's got himself standing there with flames going back and forth which is cool man um, you know I really want to do these intros and actually I got an intro but mm, I don't know how to sp I don't know how to add it together to what I'm doing right now anyway um, <laughs> you know someday I'll have time to do it I don't know uh, peace peace of mind happiness pride without arrogance be good to everybody. Peace.